and our bus is stalled. Yeah, and we were wondering if we could borrow that old tractor to tow it into town. Are you really the Globetrotters? A world-famous basketball team? In person? Here, we'll show you. Keep it? We'd rather you had it than that old skinflint Silas Cragg. And if we don't come up with the payment by sunset tomorrow, he's going to take the ranch and Davy's pet horse away from us. Hey, we can't let him do that. If I were just a little older, I could enter the big rodeo tomorrow with sundown and win the prize money. Prize money? That's it. We'll enter the rodeo and win the prize money for you. That's a good thing Mr. Cragg sent me back to keep an eye on things. Wait till he hears about this. I'll call you. What have you got? Read him and wait, Mr. Craig. Four aces. Oh! That ain't good enough, Roy. I've got five aces. Boy, Mr. Craig, you're the luckiest critter in the West. Hey, uh, we're gonna need more than luck if we expect to win the rodeo. Uh, the gold trials have entered with Davy's horse. Don't worry, Mr. Craig. With me riding for you, we can't lose. Well, just to make sure, we'll swipe the kid's horse tonight. <laughs> Find sundown. I've got a plan that can't miss. Uh-oh. If it's a metal arc plan, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Here we are. Lab test saloon and eatery. Okay, you cats. Remember the plan? Yeah. We mix with the cow folks and find out where Silas Craig's hideout is. Right? Right. Now just bow your legs and act natural. You'll never know the difference. <laughs> Pardon me, partner, but do you reckon you might know where that hombre Silas Craig might be corralled up at? Yeah, we'd also like to know where he is. Uh, if you're looking for Silas Craig, he's upstairs in a private room playing cards. Hey, metal art, we found Silas Craig. Good work, Pab. Now this calls for another one of my ingenious plans. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Everybody know what to do? Uh-huh. Me and Dribbles will go to the kitchen and make a big tray full of sandwiches. And I'll find a serving cart. Then I'll get under the cart, Gip delivers the cart with the sandwiches to Silas's room, and we find out where he hid sundown. I sure hope it worked. Well, what do you know? Bobby Joe did something right for a change. Wonderful. 
<laughs> uh, I got you this time, Silas. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's what? <laughs> How's that for luck? I've got five aces again. You, you know, you're so lucky it's uncanny, boss. Who's that? Three sandwiches, compliments of the house. Hey, metal art. What am I supposed to do with all these sandwiches? Oh, no. Bobby Joe goofed again. Come on, we gotta stop fab and gift. I'm starved. I think I'll have a sandwich. <laughs> what is this? A joke? How did Ripples get there? I don't know how he got in, but I know how he's getting out. <laughs> Especially those globe trotters. And riding for the Smith Ranch are the world famous globe trotters. <laughs> now the first event is wild bronc riding. And coming out of shoot number one, riding wild fury, Roy Rock Rider. <laughs> you ride for me. Gee, Metalark, you're just too good to be true. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> there has been a last-minute change of riders, folks. In place of Metalark, Curly is riding major disaster. <laughs> what do you know? A horse with tails on both ends. <laughs> How'd that do, Metalark? Not good enough. Get back in there. <laughs> Time's up, and Curly gets nine points for a terrific ride. <laughs> That's my boy. Taught him everything he knows. Next event, folks, wild bull roping. And coming out of the chute, that rootin' tootin' cowboy, Roy Rob Ryder. <laughs> Shoot the Smith Ranch Riders, Pablo and Big Gip. Oh, I can't look. I got it. I got it. But how do I stop him? Hold oh, on, show stop. I'll stop him. seen beginner's luck, but they're getting too close for comfort. Uh, well, what are we gonna do, boys? The next event is wild bull riding. Over there is number three, the bull Roy will ride. <laughs> and over there is number four, the bull the globe trotters will ride. <laughs> El Loco. I'm riding bull number four, Dribbles. Let's hurry. You globe-trotting dude, why don't you look where you're going? Sorry, stranger. And now, rodeo fans, it's a wild bull riding event. And charging out of shoot three comes Roy Rough Rider. No, no, it, it's Geese. Oh, poor 
some puny bull. Come on, I'll buy you a nice bucket of oats. And now, out of shoot number four, Roy Rough Rider. <laughs> Stay in a hobby horse. And with Roy out of action, uh, the trotters will win the rodeo. Not if I were to change the last event. Yeah, yeah, yeah but how are you going to do that, boss? You forget. I own the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a last minute change in the final event, folks. It'll be a Wild West basketball game between the Globe Trotters and the Cruncher Kangaroos. Basketball. They're playing our song. But we've never played kangaroos before. Kangaroos? Hippopotami? What difference does it make? Are we are we not the greatest basketball team in the world? Yeah, and when we get through with them, they'll look like a bunch of tame pussycats. Yippee! Hey, gang, stick around. We'll be right back with more laughs. You go up, Charlie's ready to play ball? Ready, Freddy. How about you, kangaroo? <laughs> the globe trotters don't stand a chance. <laughs> play ball! You can't do that to my little buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's show him no mercy. Watch my steam. I'd like to see one of those hippie hoppers stop me. I got it. I got it. <laughs> what a mismatch, ladies and gents. The world famous bull brothers are stopped. Man, we can't even get near the basket. Yeah, let alone score one. This calls for a globe trotter rescue scene. Help! Help! My house is on fire! <laughs> The Trotters score on the old fire brigade play. We got him on the run, Meadowlark. We only 100 points behind. Well, here come the kangaroos, and they are hopping back. <laughs> That's the end of the first half. <laughs> My kangaroos are so far ahead, the Smith Ranch is as good as mine. Man. Thank goodness it's halftime. Yeah. If I never see another kangaroo again, it'll be too soon. Hey, fellas! Fellas! Good news! Baby found sundown. He was hidden away in one of Mr. Craig's stables. Wait, we're playing basketball. You should have left him there. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna win this game or the rodeo prize money. Wait a minute. Rodeo! That's it! Yeah, that's it! What's it? We're gonna play the second half of the game rodeo style. Meadowlark, you are a genuine genius. That's what I keep telling you, Curly Baby. Play ball! How you cheer me, cheer me You must be by me crazy uh, All the time, you cheer me up, cheer me up Thank <laughs> you. 
one point behind with three seconds to play. Yeah, this last play better be a doozy. Uh-oh. Hey, boss, you know, we could lose this game. Silas Cragg isn't beaten yet. A wild bull will stop those trotters. Uh-oh, who ordered the bomb steer? I don't know, but he's steering all the way. One second left. Dunk the ball, Pat. on the mortgage. Curses. My plan to get the ranch and the oil foiled by a bunch of basketball players. Davy and I owe it all to you wonderful globetrotters. Don't mention it, Mrs. Smith. Glad we could be of some help. It was our pleasure. We'll never forget our experience as Wild West rodeoers. You bet. They're going to carry some lasting impressions. <laughs> Stay in your jammies. It's TV Land Super Retrovision Saturdays all morning. Come on, my friend.